we're very close to the to the end of the scheme. Um, the current main job today is the relining of the, the carriageway um, on both sides of the bridge um, and also across the bridge. We've had a lot of works on site recently. Um, the bollards have been installed uh, on both sides of the bridges. We've also had uh, street lighting uh, columns replaced along the bridge. The traffic lights have been re-aligned uh, and also made more efficient uh, for future use. Well, it's uh, my pleasure to say that uh, we're due to be opening the bridge on Friday the 12th in the afternoon. Uh, the works are two weeks ahead of schedule, um, so we're really happy and pleased that we've managed to do this work in the shortest time possible. Working with ESH and the subcontractors from ESH has been really good. They worked on a, a bridge before this at Bubwith. We moved on to Stamford Bridge where we've completed both works ahead of schedule. The contractors have been very conscious about the, the lim time limits on the, the scheme and the amount of work that needs to be done and working within with the local community to provide the best job they can. Stamford Bridge is a really historic bridge. It's a focal point of the village and it's been really fantastic to be involved bringing it back to its former glory. The villages have all been fantastic to be fair. We had a lot of positive feedback, a lot of sort of interest in the scheme just to see what was going on. Working with East Riding is brilliant. They're so proactive, they're so engaged, they're so focused on the scheme and helping us to deliver a really good scheme. Uh, it's an absolute breath of fresh air to work with them. I think the project has gone extremely well. We're looking at finishing two weeks ahead of the predicted schedule. And we've spent broadly £350,000 on the bridge. It's included a whole array of um, measures to sort of try and strengthen the bridge, put it back to the condition it was and uh, make it usable for people for the coming years really. And we're really pleased that the residents have sort of been with us on this project really. I think everyone that lives in the area appreciates that this is the vital link. So yeah, we're very grateful that residents have been patient and we appreciate the disruption that it's caused them in, in the short term.